Okay, so we're good. So we're going to go into uh, Mesh Mixer and we're going to import it so we can look at the mesh. Take a look at it. So it looks like it has uh, almost 3 million triangles, almost 3 million. So I imagine that uh, if the photos were, were zoomed in when we took the photos, it would be closer to 5 million, I'm guessing. So let's take a look. Um, I'm going to go here, go to transform, find it and edit, and I'm just going to Level that out a little bit. Um, okay, accept. Sorry, some of this slows down. Okay. So there's that blue line that's on the edge. We can get rid of that by going into view and go to show boundaries and eliminate that. Um, so the model looks pretty decent. Um, we can add the shader to it, a different material to take a look at the mesh so we can see it a little easier. So you can see it's not perfect. It, it's um, with the material over it, it looks like it's got everything, you know, uh, but the actual mesh itself is, is not, not great. Um, you can make a 3D print from it that wouldn't be horrible, but I'd probably go into the studio and photograph it again. Uh, let's take a look. I mean, you can see some traces of, of texture here, where these lines, it's, it's almost good. Um, actually, I mean, it's pretty far from it, but it, it, it's attempting to be. So uh, it's worth going in, photographing it again, and maybe even running it through uh, higher details. Um, but for our purposes as a demo, it's okay. So um, we could get rid of this extra stuff. There's a few ways. So you go to select and then I go to lasso and then you just kind of draw. It's kind of like in Photoshop, they have tools like this, right? You have that. Um, this stuff should turn red that I selected, but it doesn't seem okay. Press X and it should remove it. Sorry, everything's moving pretty slow here. Okay, so I'm going to do that again from this side. You could, there's ways you can get a cleaner cut. I'm not too worried about that. Let's see, we'll do it again. X.
x. And really there's one more step. I'm not sure that we'll worry about it. Uh, you, you'd want to make it solid so, um, so that it's 3D print ready. Um, I guess I could do that. All right, so you go into edit, go to make solid. Usually that first, it goes quickly. And I'll show you what to do next. Yeah, I think when I have 3DF Zephyr on running, everything on the computer runs slow. Like this should actually take, this should go quick right now. It's taking a while, and I'm regretting going through it because it could take, I don't know, five minutes. It should only take about, usually it takes about five seconds. So I'm going to pause it and come back. Okay, so it made it solid. This is like its first pass at making it solid, which is pretty interesting how it affects the material. The material is like this really kind of odd photographic version of it. It's, it's a faded, weird photographic version of its self. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're not gonna accept it. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna go for a higher resolution. So you go up to here where it says fast. We don't want that, we want sharp edge preserved. So that'll, what, what we're trying to do is get the best quality of the original. Right now it's, it's a washed out version of it that we don't want that. So we dial this up to solid accuracy. We dial that up all the way, mesh density. We dial that up all the way. And then we press update. And usually this one does take a long time. It could take 10, 20 minutes to uh, finish this stage out. So but what I'll do is uh, pause it and we'll come back. All right, so this is the high definition, high resolution version of solid. It's just, it just got done. It took a while. And um, I'm not really sure why that one took so long, but uh, it took a while to do that. So you press accept. And then once you press accept, it's got to go through a process that takes a couple minutes. Um, so we'll see. Maybe I'll pause it. Maybe I won't. Okay. Seems like that went pretty quick. All right. Um, so let's take a look at it without the uh, material on it. Let's go to shader. Let's go to this. Oh. Huh. It's not really showing us. So it's, it's, I think it's probably like the original. Um, all the information that it originally had is there, but it's solid. So that means that there's no hole in the bottom. It's just got all, you know, the bottom used to be, it used to be a shell, but now it's a solid, um, it's filled in. You can see, so now it's 3D print ready. Uh, that's all that means. So then you would export it. So 
Sorry, it takes for long. It's so long here. Um, so I'll say that it's solid and it's ready for the next step for 3D printing. So that's it.